Hey, I'm here today to show this new script I'm releasing for free called Easy Spin. This is a script for animating linear rotations. So by linear rotations, I mean things that um, rotate at a constant speed like um, propellers, fan blades, even things like gears. So I've got this drone model here. It's got four propellers on it. I'm going to select all four propellers and in Easy Spin here, all you have to do is set the number of revolutions you want over the desired time range. So between 0 and 100, let's do three rev revolutions and just click on Create Keys. And just like that, we have a nice smooth looping animation where each propeller rotates three times. All right. Oh, well, if you want to clear the animation, click on Clear Keys. That will blank it out. And this also works on objects that are part of an hierarchy. So this is uh, this drone has an animation layer on it. Let me turn it on, where it goes up in the air and flies a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select the propellers again. And this time, let's do something more realistic, like 20 revolutions. I'll click on Create Keys. All right, and there we go. Now, the propellers spin, and it works just fine. Pretty simple. All right, let's try another example. All right, now in this example, I've got two gears here. This larger gear has 30 teeth on it, and the smaller gear has 15 teeth. So I'm going to show you an easy way to animate gears using this information. So um, because the uh, smaller gear has half the number of teeth that the larger gear does, it means it has to rotate twice as much as the larger gear. So let's use Easy Spin. So I'm going to do one rotation. Um, over this time range for the larger gear. So I'm going to click the larger gear and click on Create Keys. So we've got the larger gear rotating one revolution. And I know the smaller gear needs to rotate two revolutions since it has half the number of teeth. So let's put two into Easy Spin and it's also going to uh, rotate in the opposite direction. So let's click this box Reverse Direction, click on Create keys, and there we go. Very simple. Now we have a perfectly looping gear animation where everything lines up, and a uh, nice little trick there. All right, let me just show you one last option on Easy Spin. Okay, and for the last option, our last example for this uh, Easy Spin, I'm going to show you it also works uh, in local and world space. So. If I take this teapot and I just do two revolutions between 0 and 100 in local space, local Z space, click on Create Keys. Okay, there it go. It rotates on local Z space. So let me clear that out. But what happens now if I rotate this just arbitrarily, something like this? Now, if it's in local space, if I create, uh, create the keys, it still uses the objects local z-axis pointing up like that but if i want it to rotate in world space i can also do that so let me clear those keys if i change this to world space then it's going to use the world z up so if i click on create keys there you go then it uses the world z-axis and of course you have the option of doing x y or z in either world or local space so that's it. Um, grab this script for free. I'll have the link in the description, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.